planning to do a PG diploma in IT from Fiteria. Level eight, my query is, will I be eligible to take my spouse along with me or should I go for level nine? Postgrad there are very few postgraduate uh, uh, courses in their long-term skills shortage list job, especially in IT. But in the IT uh, department uh, and in the long-term skills shortage list, there is no postgraduate diploma as such. So they're asking for Bachelor of Engineering. A lot of bachelors are being asked. Uh, and uh, you could potentially uh, do a level eight uh, with a letter from IT Professionals New Zealand certifying that the degree and any further uh, learning meets the benchmark or requirements. But you know, it's all a little complicated. So I think it might make sense for your Anamika to quite simply choose a level nine because the entry requirement for level eight and level nine, especially in IELTS and most of the academic requirements is quite is very similar. So to to ensure there is no risk in being able to come with your spouse to uh, New Zealand, my recommendation is choose a level nine. If you say, no, I don't want to go to level nine. I want to come for level eight only. We can still apply for your spouse uh, visa, but it will not be a work visa. It will be a visitor visa. So for till the time you finish your course and you get uh, the post study work visa, your spouse will be on a visitor visa. If you guys are okay with it, then there is no problem. We can still come for a level eight course and your spouse can, you know, hang around till you finish your course. Once you get your work visa, post-study work visa, then he will get his work visa. So no problem. Three years, three years, he'll get three years, he'll get three years. But if your spouse is also as well qualified as you are, even if he comes on a visitor visa, he can go out and start looking for jobs and we are there to guide you and we can, you can tell prospective employers saying that, yes, I'm on a visitor visa, but I'm going to get the three years work visa as soon as my wife completes the course. And these are my credentials. Give me a job. And then based on the job, my advisor, which is AJV Services, they have said that I'll be able to apply independently for my own work visa. So those possibilities are there, Anamika. So to cut the long story short, to be able to minimize the risk completely, choose a level nine. If you want to come for a level eight only, then you can consider getting your spouse on a visitor visa. Uh, he will stay for one year. So see it through and then once you get your uh, work visa he will also move it to work visa